Travis Mangood cell. I'm caught up for today. Had dinner. And <clears throat> checking uh, to see if that uh, woman who claimed to have known me from childhood would respond. Nope. But uh, uh, she changed her name on her LinkedIn profile. So yeah, I'm sensing fraud. <laughs> if you're not gonna come clean, uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, she added a whole uh, playlist, I guess, uh, for me in the one video about the Illuminati I had done on my other channel, the old one. That's where uh, she saw me. Uh, she had, doesn't know about this new one yet. Uh, but, uh, yeah, she refused to contact me through my website. So that, one, I can verify that she's an American or living in America. <laughs> uh, though her LinkedIn profile does seem to indicate she is. Uh, and uh, seems to suggest that she, if it's the one I'm thinking of, it, her first name is wrong. Because, uh, well, I don't know. She never responded, so, um, good riddance. <coughs> However, uh, somebody else responded to my most popular video of all, uh, the one that my, uh, the woman formerly called my second ex-wife uh, forced me to make, <coughs> because uh, like Jesus and um, his wife Mary, Yes, Jesus had a wife. If he's a real historical character, he would have had a wife. He would have also served in the military for the Romans because the law was passed before he would have turned 18. He would have been enlisted for, was it three years or so? Uh, term of service. Uh, all Jews were required because of that new law that was passed. So, yeah. Uh, Jesus would have been a military soldier and uh, would have been married, would have had kids. But they don't talk about that, do they? And his teenage years are missing. And, and after he goes to the temple at around uh, 12, just silence. It's because <laughs> it's not a history. Anyway. Uh, yeah, the non-biblical sources, which are called pseudepigraphic, which they shouldn't be called pseuda, they're not fake, uh, but uh, extra-biblical sources uh, talk about how uh, after the death and disappearance of Jesus, uh, Mary was often with the meetings with the uh, apostles and uh, when Peter would want to do something Mary would speak up and say well my Lord and Master our Lord and Master whatever my husband told me <laughs> Peter would get pissed because uh, Jesus confided into his with his wife and not with him <laughs> so yes I confided with my uh, wives at the level of knowledge that I had obtained and as much as they were able to handle uh, and, uh, what is this video about again? <laughs> uh, yeah, the video I did back in 2017 uh, the most famous video of all. Uh, she forced me to make that video because I, I said um, um, the total solar eclipse means that it's a sign for the end of the world and ties to the Bible. Prophecy of the sun shall be darkened, moon turned to blood, stars fall from heaven. 
Uh, this is the start. And so she said, well, when are we going back to Missouri? I don't know. This is just the first one. Well, tell me now. All right. And so I did some searching and, and found a sign in the heavens on the one Sunday in the beginning of September. And it just happened to be at that Sunday when we attended church that uh, the lesson was in the Doctrine and Covenants and uh, it was talking about the Pioneer Trek. Huh. Interesting. But uh, nobody believes me that it had anything to do with the fulfillment. And everybody thinks that I'm a fallen prophet and I can't predict the, these things. And, and yet people don't realize our nation's collapsed. <laughs> We're in ruin. And uh, now we're fighting each other. Cops are murdering and, and uh, protesters are destroying. They're not murdering. It's the cops who are murdering. With these riots that are going on. It's the cops who are doing the murdering. And so... Uh, and, and, but, uh, yeah, people think they're clever and they think that they're... They've outsmarted me when they haven't outsmarted me. They just don't understand how it works. Because they don't go through all the videos and all that. So that was done way at the beginning. When I was going, holy crap, this is it. I thought this was just something fun that I learned in school. And so, yeah, I'm searching, trying to find the other signs. And, and trying to find out how to interpret the planets with the constellations because I only knew about lunar eclipses and the deaths of apostles that coincided with them from Faust to then Hinckley and then the, the trilogy during the Tetrad I was like going oh yeah that's kind of fun cool and then during the 2002 Winter Olympics all five planets were in the night sky oh isn't that cool but uh no, once the total solar eclipse occurred, I went, holy crap. <laughs> this is for real. And so, yeah, I, the woman formerly called my second ex-wife, demanded that I give her a date for when we were supposed to go to Missouri. And, and so I just threw that video out. And uh, sure enough, the lesson was on the Pioneer Trek. But, uh... I, if you Mormons recall, uh, uh, there's a passage talking about needing to flee to Zion when the riots start. And the riots have started, and Mormons have nowhere to flee because Zion is not Salt Lake City. Because the riots are here. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I had some guy named, uh, I can't remember what it was. Uh, he uh, posted on that video from way back when. You know, we're now in 2020, and he posted a, a video uh, of Ezra Tuff Benson. It's just a clip, it's not his whole talk. I mean, come on, guy. Do the whole talk. I've got the whole talk. I know about it. And I've been using that clip in the videos on this channel. Uh, but, again, you go to one video and you think you know all about a guy. So, yeah. He, uh, and so I then responded with, So question, question, question. I can post links too. <laughs> and I posted Joseph Smith, the talk that he gave in uh, July 19th, 1840, from the Joseph Smith papers. <laughs> so, uh, I'm curious to see if he's going to respond or if he's going to shut the hell up and back off. 
Sometimes Mormons just don't know when to go away. They've got to force themselves on other people. Because they hate it when they're humiliated. Because they're Mormon. They're the truth. I'm Mormon. I'm the one who actually knows the truth, Mormons. And you don't like me for it. So. Alrighty. Well, today was Pentecost for the Christians. The real Pentecost is with the Jews. And uh, all hell broke loose all over America. Riots. So, yeah, that's interesting. And the judge refused to give the order. But the church, with their connection with the Kingstons, uh-oh, Kingstons are about to go down. And uh, the church should have gone down with them on the same day. Unbelievable. Alright, so I'm done. The disc is almost converted. It's so hot. I mean, we've got a heat wave before summer. A month before summer. We almost hit 100 the other day. And then we've got a hurricane. I mean, it's huge. I mean, it's number 10 ranked. I saw the ranking of the top 10 largest size hurricanes. And uh, this was going to replace number 10 that we're going to have next Sunday. It's that huge. It's the size of the Gulf. <coughs> From Corpus Christi, Texas, all the way to New Orleans. And even beyond. I mean, it's 900 kilograms or kilometers, whatever you call it. I mean, this is going to be massive. I mean, everything is just going to be underwater for days. So, you know, if you're in that area, get the hell out now. And then the church, of course, will send their token of supplies. One truckload, maybe two. <laughs> oh, that's too wide of an area. We'll just send one truck to Houston and the other truck to New Orleans. And then we'll make the Mormons wear their t-shirts and do all the work for us. And then the church newsroom will take videos of members of the church doing the work for the brethren. And maybe we'll have a cameo as one of the brethren will go down there. But, you know, we don't want to get involved because we might get coronavirus. <laughs> so we probably won't go. But we'll send prayers and well wishes or whatever that is that they say. It's just nothing but crap. Uh, I'm done.